You know, I'm really, really liking my hair today. Got the curls going, got the, the two-tone, barely any brown left, almost completely gray. Wow, that's actually the first time I'm realizing that my hair is almost completely gray. But I'm sharing all of this with you guys about my hair today because, well, today is a day for change. I've read countless comments about the fact that I need to get myself together. Joe, you've lost yourself. You look ridiculous. And it's not about the comments because I honestly like my hair or I have liked my hair, but it probably is time for a change. So I'm going to go get a haircut today. Try to get brought back. I can't even imagine what their reaction is going to be when I walk into this barbershop. Can't go to my normal barbershop called Best Cuts because that place doesn't exist anymore. It's now called Cost Cutters. Pretty, pretty clever name. But they didn't have any availability, so I'm going to another barbershop that I've gone to in the past. And we're going to see what they can do. Hopefully, I'll be looking like a brand new man when I come up out of there because... Right now, I'm looking like a pretty old and ragged man. I need some change in my life. I'm a little down and out, a little depressed today. So maybe a haircut will make me feel a little bit better and help me to bounce back. We'll see. But regardless, next time you see me, this shit on top of my head is going to be gone. All right. It's Friday as I start this. I meant to film after I got my haircut yesterday, but... I'm not going to lie, I ended up getting a little depressed yesterday. So, I never filmed, and here we are, Friday morning, ready for the major unveiling, unveiling, unboxing of my new <laughs> haircut. I know, it's pretty damn shocking. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm surprised they were even able to do what they've done with my hair. I went in there and they were like, what are you trying to do with this? So I'm back, kind of. Got a lot of the gray cut out, but my hair is definitely pretty damn gray. And I feel at least, even though I might look a little ridiculous, I feel at least like I look at least a little more presentable. So here I am. And you guys let me know down in the comments section, do I look like Pink Macklemore? or any other crazy person. All right, so again, yesterday I ended up getting depressed and I think it was because I got a haircut and I didn't like the way it was looking. I folded, I should have kept the fro, but I didn't. The reason why I got my haircut is I got to look professional. I'm, got, I'm dealing with people, I got to look professional. I can't be looking like a crazy man no more. New haircut, new day, new me. That was the motto going into this, or the, or the thought at least. It's Friday, and I'm getting ready to go pick up Rabbit. Rabbit hasn't seen my hair. Rabbit's going to be accompanying, accompanying me over to the flip house. I got to get ready to go meet with somebody over there. And that's the first thing on the agenda. I've also got a bunch of caricatures and cartoons right here. There's like six of them, not really a bunch, but six of those, I gotta get those mailed out. I'm gonna hit the P.O. box today as well. We're gonna make today a damn good day. And there's a damn good chance that you guys are probably gonna be seeing this video today as well. So a lot of work to get done. I'm no longer depressed. I was able to sleep it off and let's make this Friday a damn good day. There's a lot of things we got to get done. And I'll be sharing that with you guys when we get to where we're going. So good morning. And I'm feeling pretty fresh this morning with this brand new haircut. Good morning. How in the world are you guys doing today? I am beat. I'm tired. I've been putting in a lot of hours work to get that thing right there. Yeah. Rabbit, you got you a... Uh, you all right, man? My eyes is looking a little red. Sleep, dude. You got your new ride, Rabbit. I do got a new ride. And, Sitting right over there. And I got, Bing. A, I, got, it's got, I got to do some cosmetic work to it, man. Like, I need to put another mirror on it. The back, um, um, shit, I don't even know what it's called, but the back where, where you, you know, where you can put shit out on the back of it is broke off. I got to fix that. And, um, a couple other things, but other than that, it's good. Man, Almost heck like yeah. brand new. You got you some new wheels. I got brand new wheels. And... Not only do I got brand new wheels, I've also got more work coming where I can make money. There you go. Because you've been working for the scooter. Yeah, I've been working for the scooter. So that's paid off now. 
All I gotta do now is uh, go work, make money. There you go. And get some sleep. <laughs> well, I'm bringing you with me. We're gonna go meet a contractor over at the house, and uh, that's about it. I got I gotta meet two contractors today. I gotta hit the PO box. Uh, and uh, so, which contractors are we meeting today? Such and such and such and such. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, uh, notice anything different about me? Yeah, you got your hair all chopped off, dude. I noticed that as soon as I seen you. I'm pretty smart, you know that, right? Well, hey, man, you, yeah, thank you, Rabbit. I, I think good. it look, I think it looks okay too. Yeah, Thanks. It does. It looks good, man. I mean, you ain't got that on. Bob Marley going over no more. Uh, you know I, mean? <laughs> I came to the realization that I was probably looking pretty, pretty crazy. So you were looking like, what's the dude that you do? Touch him two times, Tommy. Touch him two times, Tommy. Yeah, and you were looking a lot like him. Mm. Well, not no more. No? I'm looking like, you still can't see my ears. That's the craziest damn thing. When I look straight at the camera, you still cannot see my, yeah, my ears. You, I mean, you're kind of press plate up against your head, Joe. Ah, you know what? Ain't, ain't no more, you know. Thanks, Rabbit. I think, I think my hair looks pretty good, too. Fresh haircut up in the flip house. I swear I look weird. I don't even look like myself. But anyways. All right, so we just met with... Well, first of all, we're over here at the Flip House, as you guys can tell, and we just met with somebody who we needed to meet with to continue to get the ball rolling to get done with everything going on over here. And I think that that went really well, meeting with this guy, and hopeful that we're going to be able to get done what we got to get done with permits and inspections. Rabbit. Yes. Or rabbit. Your hey, thoughts. I'm only one. My thoughts. Honestly... No, tell me a lie. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I have no problem. I think everything's going smooth right on out. You get it done, house will be able to walk in the morning. Man, I like what you're talking about. Heck yeah. Well, appreciate those words right there. Good Lord, that's super zoomed in. Appreciate the, the vote of confidence. We still got to meet with one other person over here today. Uh, that's not going to be until a little bit later on. We're going to go to the P.O. box. I got to drop off some caricatures and some cartoons. And we're also gonna check mail over there. Everybody is telling me the same damn thing when they come and they look at this house. The house looks really good. They're impressed with the way that the house looks. And I've had a lot of people as of late telling me, you ain't gonna have no problem selling this house. This thing is gonna sell. And that is some really good news. I'm already looking at a couple of other houses for a potential felon flippers Number two. Oh, I'll leave that up there, man. That showcases this is a brand new microwave. Man, get out of here, man. They show you it's a brand new microwave by looking at it, bro. It looks like it having one man. I guess you're right. Thank you. Are we allowed to do that though? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, uh -huh. We don't need a permit for that. Well, we might, but we need a letter. Certainly not. I'm dealing with a little bit of a migraine today, but whatever. We also got the grass cut the other day over here. Shout out to Rabbit for helping me with that. We went and cut three yards. And this was one of them. We had the zero turn out here the other day. Took us like 10 minutes to cut this. And we found a big ass anaconda. I'm ready to see you get the, the mess scared out of you. He's blended in back there. He's not here. He was right there. He was going straight through the fence. I'm telling you, he's right over here. There ain't no way to, nah, he's right there. See, there he goes, there he goes. That's a little garter snake, man. That's a little teeny garter snake, dude. That ain't gonna hurt you. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Well, you ass about to get bit. Man, that's a garter snake. That ain't gonna hurt you, dude. Leave that alone. Yeah, I know you left him alone. <laughs> I ain't scared of him. I bet you that. You wanna pick him up? Hell no, nah, I don't pick him up, Rabbit. Where'd you go? Come here. Oh, you gotta, you wanna see the fish, then. Huh? I think you wanna see the fish, then. You, yeah. It's a garter snake. You know what that is? That thing look like an anaconda, like rabbit. Rat snake, dude. That thing look like an anaconda. No. Get out of here, man. Boy. Well, you got to stress it out, Mr. Cook. Dude, that was an anaconda. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what it was. It was a little garter snake about that long. And, um, I mean, they don't even bite you, dude. They won't, they won't run from you. Yeah. They don't bite? At all. I mean, they might bite. I don't, I've never heard of one of them biting, but... You might have found out had you grabbed that thing. I tried to catch it, man. You grabbed from it. You did. All right. Cool deal. So part one of what we got going on today, 
done. And let's go to the P.O. box, see if we can get some mail and get some cartoons and caricatures sent out as well. Okay, little bit of a change of plan. First of all, we're gonna get Rabbit's reaction to a 7-Eleven fish sandwich. Tastes like ass. Man, that thing is delicious. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I don't know. I ain't prison food for years and years and years, and this tastes worse than that. Oh, man, stop playing. I got one too. It's Alaskan Cod from 7-Eleven. No, All right. you don't. You got an egg croissant, you lying ass. I got an egg croissant and a fish sandwich. I Dang. You got a fish sandwich on the back burner, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat them both. Don't pull it out now. I'm a fat boy. <laughs> so we're going to go to the P.O. Box, but real quick, I just got in contact with a guy that I know from prison, a guy named Chris. I haven't seen this guy since I was locked up. Uh, this guy definitely has had his struggles. He ended up getting locked up again after he got released. He might have even got locked up twice. Uh, uh, you know, two more times after getting released. But he's just coming home again. And you know, he's talking about he wants to do things different. He wants to do things better. He's definitely struggled with drugs and addiction being a big part of his struggle. I want to swing through and see this guy. He's right down the street from where we are. I don't know if we'll get a chance to talk with him on camera, but I'm definitely going to see if he wants to share anything with us. And it would be somebody that I would like to introduce you guys to and potentially be able to chronicle his story. You know, coming home after multiple times being locked up, struggling and trying to get his shit together. So we're gonna swing through, see this guy, and see what we can do. All right, well, I hate the fact that we're still up in the truck, but we just got done meeting with this guy, Chris, that I was telling you guys about, and we spent a good, shit, at least a good hour over there talking with him and hearing what's going on with him. I haven't seen this guy since, since 2014 when we were at Indian Creek together and I was correct in the fact that this guy has been locked up in that time an additional two other times. He's just coming home. He's been home now after 20 something months sitting in a jail for 20 something months, a horrible jail. Uh, he's just coming home and he's been home for less than a month. He does have something pending where he might have to go complete a program and he's going to find out about that this upcoming Wednesday. But it was really awesome getting a chance to see this guy and see this guy wanting to give himself a chance. Did you get that from that situation? Uh, actually, I did, man. He seems like he's on up and up. He, he, he struggled all his life pretty much, and he seems like he's trying to put one foot in front of the other one, man, and see if he can't make it happen. So. Well, he actually was just sending me a message as I was filming this saying that, you know, he was very appreciative of the fact that I came through to see him and I talked with him about trying to potentially help him. Uh, two things that I'm going to help him with. He needs a letter of recommendation with his upcoming court situation. I'm going to do that for him and just say, Hey, look, I see this guy giving himself a chance. He wants a chance and maybe he should be given a chance to try to make it out here. He's definitely cut off a lot of people that he needs to cut off and is trying to do things differently for himself. And there's no guarantee that this letter that I write because I ain't nobody for real, maybe just a character witness, uh, helps him at all. But another thing that we talked about was his driver's license situation. He's got to pay a reinstatement fee to be able to get that. I told him I would help him with that. And it, so long as he gives himself a chance and keeps giving himself a chance, I'll give him a chance as well. I'm hopeful that I get a chance to introduce you guys to him. We talked about potentially sharing his story. He definitely shared some pretty crazy stuff with us that I think you guys might find interesting. So maybe we get an opportunity to do that. But quick update in terms of everything else. I just heard from the other meeting that I had today, those folks from who I was supposed to meet with, and they've canceled on me, so now i got to reschedule that probably for some time next week. Uh, the first meeting from today, we're going to hear something about that on Monday. So here we are on the third week since this permit situation, and we're going to be going into the fourth week, no doubt. But hopefully we'll be able to get this resolved sooner than later. We're also up at the post office. i got to get ready to mail out these caricatures and try to check the P.O. box and see if we got anything up in there. Post office is jumping right now, so I got a feeling this is going to take a little bit of time. Thanks for saying more than a little bit. We might be stuck here for a while. Ah, oh, nah, man. They're, you know, it's the post office. They're, they're about as fast as the DMV. Yeah, but they got two people that work there out of 500 people being in there trying to get something done. And everybody's in a hurry. Everybody's in a hurry. Well, guess what? Everybody's about to be hurrying up 
and waiting. Hurrying up and getting out of our way. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you a big dude, Joe? That's got me scared of people. You intimidate people, man. Why do you keep looking at my hair? I can't help it. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> All right, good deal. So we just did the P.O. box and mailed out a bunch of caricatures. Held up the line for at least a good solid 30 minutes. Good deal. Got a fair amount of mail back here. Had a whole bunch of junk mail. I think this might be the last of the junk mail. Joe Gayer. Folks, I'm gonna let you know whenever I get the junk mail, I'm throwing that right away. So let's try to conserve some trees and not send so much junk mail. Rabbit's going to take the bins back in. And whew, it's hard to breathe. That was a little bit of an adventure. Damn, to mail something out of the country today cost $15 for a damn caricature. But regardless, Germany, your package is on the way. Sean Crouch, your package is on the way. York, your package is on the way. Ah, oh, I'm straining my brain and I got a migraine. There were six caricatures that I got sent out today and it seems almost every three days I'm mailing out caricatures. If you guys would like me to draw something for you, visit the APS official website and I'd love to be able to create something for you. Rabbit, what you been doing this whole time? I'm a runner. You did some jogging? Yeah, no. Or running for the police? Both. Look, cut the pool wheels out, let's go that way. Oh man, there's a nice little uh, ditch right there. Yeah, no, that'd be fun. Uh, uh, I carried them uh, mail with everybody back here. Appreciate you, man. For sure. Hell yeah. Shit, I gotta show you this tree. I gotta show you some cool ass shit. Well, you got you another iceberg. Watch this. Oh, it's in the house. I got you. I'll be right back. How's it ride? Does it ride all right? Can I ride it? Yeah, yeah. I ain't rode a moped in so long. Hey, the uh, the uh, Ford Escape Pro Tourer. Oh, yeah. 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 The steering is just a little tight. I think it's been right before. The steering's a little bit tight, but it rides good. Hold on Rabbit got him a new moped. What All you right. got there? I'm gonna show you. This is the the baddest battery charge you've ever seen in your life. Oh, that's a battery charge? Damn, this thing's super charge. small. Dude, watch this. Let's check this out first. Let's do this first. Let's see if it starts. Yeah, it's gotta, it's, it's, I gotta get a battery. Right. So you need a new battery for sure. Yeah, I definitely gotta get a new battery. But, but until I can get one, I got something that works wonders. I've never seen a battery charge that damn small. I don't think nobody has. I hadn't. I definitely hadn't never seen one this small. Now you saw how their battery was, right? Right. Will it stay running? We got a little defibrillator for that thing. I'll tell you what, hey, I'll tell you what, that's an instant automatic start. Man, that's all right right there. We ain't seen you on a moped in a long time, Rabbit. Where's the moped junkyard at? Is it still around here? Right there, right there. Let's go check out the moped junkyard where Rabbit gets that squared away. There they go. All the mopeds just sitting there dead. Yep. And the only one's mine is the red one. Is it fast? It's about regular speed, you know. He's back, y'all. Heck yeah. Good to see Rabbit got himself some transportation and he's worked hard to get that. This guy's been helping me out, working with me, and then going and working even more for the last couple of days, maybe the last week, to be able to get this moped. He's been working this thing off. And now he's got him wheels again, folks. Right? Yeah. Right. A little tight on the steering. A little tight on the steering. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Oh, my God. Joe, he just pushed all the air out of my tire. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> And he's off. It rides pretty damn good. It's not gonna go fast with you on it, Joe. You weigh a lot. That sucker rides real good. It's not gonna go fast with you on it, Joe. You weigh a lot. I'm sucking in my stomach. <laughs> Heck yeah, rabbit. Yeah, so uh, he 
and I'll put in uh, about 60 hours work probably for this thing. Can I cut it off or not? Yeah, cut it off. I don't even remember how to cut it off. It smells a little bit like gas, so what's it going is, on? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, I think I, so I might have to adjust the, uh, the fuel air mixture on it. It might be getting a little too much cool. Um, but I got to drain the gas. I got to put clean gas in it because that makes it miss a little bit, the old gas is in it. But other than that, man, it's great. This, you know, it needs some cosmetic work and a battery. Well, look at you, man. Doing what you got to do to be able to get where you need to go. Yeah. Uh, kind of, kind of upset about the way things happen with my other mopeds, but, you know, I'm going to make sure I take care of things this time. Well. It's good to be able to work for things and to be able to get those things. It is. I want to let you know I'm super proud of you, man. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. And I know a lot of people watching this video, they're going to be really proud of you as well. Well, you know what? You tell them people, if you're out of state, all you got to do is come to the line. Come to the Virginia line, I'll meet you wherever you're at. That thing go anywhere. Yeah, you mobile now. You better believe it. I'm going to stay that way. Get a truck next. Then I'm probably going to haul it. It's good to have, uh, good to have goals, man. Yeah, well, first goal is try relocation. Get you a place. Yeah. Well, you got wheels now, so you'll yeah. be able to do that a little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, I can, you know, I can get where I got to get to now to go to work and you know make whatever money I got to make to get what I got to get done. Rabbit, I want to thank you for coming with me today. For sure. We ain't do a whole hell of a lot. We got to meet with a guy, meet with two people. Yeah, we didn't and do much of nothing. Got to go to the post office. We talked for a little while. We did a lot of talk. A lot of talking, mm -hmm. but regardless, mm -hmm. feel like it was a somewhat productive day, mm -hmm. and it's good to see you and you as well, brother. Back on the road. Oh, I am most definitely. I got to um, I got to go in here. I got some wiring. I got to fix in here for my speedometer. You might need a permit for that. All the things I got to do, huh? Oh, nothing. What you say? What you say? I said you might need a permit for that. I can, I can write one up. Ain't no big deal. I probably write one up and stick on the side of it. It come out of me. Ain't gonna bother me. Yeah. But uh, I gotta put a lock on the seat. The cage that goes here is missing. I gotta get one of them. I gotta get a uh, a mirror. A uh, yeah, but it's the whole piece. It's the clamp that goes around that. Oh yeah. Thing. I gotta get the clamp because that's gone. And then it's set right there, and the mirror come up out of it. But um, yeah, man, I'm I'm really stoked, man. You know, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Well, hell yeah, brother. And I'm uh, and I'm thankful that the person that had this gave me the opportunity to work with. Good damn job, man. Mm -hmm. Rabbit, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. All right. Appreciate you today. Yeah, no doubt, man, for sure. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you again real soon. Well, man, I hope it's not too long. I mean, I'm ready for another cookout at your house or something, you know what I mean? But uh, you got to buy more beer this time. I mean, you got to buy more sodas. <laughs> All right. So anyways, uh, that's it, folks. Shout out to Rabbit and shout out to all of you. And also to the barber who brought me back. I'm looking like a person again. I mean, I can't. Can you? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. Can as you far stand as, up? Oh, I wouldn't go. You were saying something, man. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go as far as to say that brought you back. You know, I don't think there's no bringing that back, though. All right, man. I'm out. Of here. <laughs>